Here's the evolution of macOS icons. From the aqua design of macOS 10.0 to the new liquid glass effect in macOS 26 Tahoe, the Finder icon in macOS 10.0 adopted the aqua style with volume and reflections. It was later unified and flattened in OS 10 Yosemite, then radically redesigned in Big Sur by merging the two faces into a more friendly and coherent iconography, further refined up to the modern version found in macOS 26. The settings icon evolved from a hardware-style control panel with a mechanical look to highly detailed metal gears, and starting with Big Sur, it was simplified and standardized, eventually reaching today's clean and flat design. The folders icon moved from a realistic layered design to a simplified, flat shape. With Big Sur, it gained subtle volume and cleaner colors, resulting in a much more fluid look today. Safari became the Mac's default browser starting with the Panther release, and from the realistic compass introduced back then, it transitioned to a flat style icon adapted to the new liquid glass design. The first stickies icon represented classic, realistic post-it notes. Today, it has become a more stylized and cleaner note with Mac OS 26. The Spotlight icon has maintained its identity over time. It evolved from a glossy blue magnifying glass into an increasingly simplified symbol. The same applies to the Notes icon, which transitioned from a realistic sheet of paper with handwritten text to an increasingly simple and flat design. The Messages icon started with realistic chat bubbles in a gradient style, was lightly stylized with the Yosemite release, and then completely redesigned with Big Sur, which introduced the green shape and color scheme that has been preserved to this day. Launchpad first appeared in Mac OS 10.7 Lion with a rocket icon on a metallic background. It was slightly refined in Yosemite while Big Sur transformed it into an app grid that represents the content itself. In Mac OS 26, the icon is restyled once again and additionally introduces a search bar. At the same time, Apple officially renamed Launchpad to Apps. Initially, the calculator icon was a realistic physical device. Over time, it adopted a more modern interface and was gradually simplified into the clean design we see today. The iMovie icon evolved from a realistic film clapperboard to the well-known star, first gold and later purple. The icon was progressively simplified until reaching its modern flat form in macOS Tahoe. The Siri icon first appeared in macOS Sierra as a circular, abstract symbol based on sound waves. It became more dynamic in High Sierra, switched to a square shape in Big Sur, and today appears more refined and polished. The App Store icon began as a glossy aqua-style symbol in version 10.7 Lion, was radically simplified with Yosemite, and starting with Big Sur adopted a square shape with rounded corners. It was further refined into the clean and balanced version seen in macOS Tahoe. The Maps icon represented a realistic map with a compass during the Mavericks era, but with Mac OS High Sierra Apple updated the icon to display the location of its new headquarters, Apple Park. Big Sur introduced a much cleaner and more abstract symbol which has been consistently refined up to the present, where the icon is more prominent and more colorful. The Podcasts icon transitioned from a circular symbol with glossy accents characteristic of the Mac OS Catalina era to the square shape introduced with Big Sur, later refined into a more fluid design in Mac OS Tahoe. The Dictionary icon evolved from a realistic book with volume and physical details to a simple typographic symbol, where the emphasis is placed on letters and color rather than the object itself. The Reminders icon evolved from a realistic checklist with check marks to a simple symbol based on colored dots, introduced with the Yosemite release and preserved and restyled up to the present day. The first QuickTime icon was a realistic media player with a window-style interface, later adopting the glossy aqua-style Q symbol. Over time, it was gradually stylized, and today it looks more modern and cleaner. The Time Machine icon debuted with a mechanical, highly detailed look in the Leopard release, was simplified with Yosemite, and starting with Big Sur adopted the modern square shape, later refined in the Tahoe version. The Expose app icon first appeared in Mac OS 10.3 Panther as a wall of windows with images. It was visually refined over time, and with Lion version it was renamed Mission Control, and received a more structured representation of spaces. It was simplified and abstracted in Yosemite, then redesigned in a more minimalist style in Big Sur. The design in the Tahoe version feels the most balanced. I really like it. The trash icon started as a realistic metal bin in early macOS versions. With Yosemite, it became a transparent white bin, and in macOS Tahoe, it received a new, more squared shape. When it's full, it looks like this. Super cool. The calendar icon evolved from a physical object with paper pages and metal rings in early macOS 10 to a flat design with Yosemite. Starting with macOS Big Sur, it adopted the modern square shape, later refined into the clean Tahoe version. 
The FaceTime icon transitioned from a realistic camera in the macOS Lion era to a flat green symbol inspired by iOS. With macOS Big Sur, a gradient was introduced and has been preserved to this day, but in a more modern form. The first mail icon represented a realistic postage stamp with an eagle and a postmark reading, Hello from Cupertino. It was slightly refined and the message was changed to, Hello from California with the Yosemite release. macOS Big Sur introduced the modern square shape, which is still used today, now adapted to the liquid glass style. Disk Utility originally featured a realistic hard drive icon with a stethoscope. It was visually simplified with the Yosemite release and brought to a much cleaner and more intuitive representation in macOS Tahoe. The activity monitor icon evolved from a realistic hardware display in early Mac OS X into an increasingly simplified symbol. The photos icon evolved from a realistic camera and a beach photo, initially showing a sunset, then a daylight photo in the Mavericks version. Yosemite later introduced the iconic colorful flower, which was simplified and flattened with Mac OS Big Sur, eventually reaching the clean and vibrant Tahoe version. The first contacts icon was a realistic blue address book with a spiral binding. It later became brown and lost the spiral. Yosemite introduced a more modern look, while macOS Big Sur brought the square shape with rounded corners. In the Tahoe version, the icon is gray and looks much simpler. The text edit icon evolved from two sheets of paper with a realistic pen in early macOS X to a single sheet in OS Yosemite. macOS Big Sur reduced it to a minimal symbol, and Tahoe simplified it even further. It looks good. Automator, the application for automating repetitive tasks, debuted in macOS Tiger as a realistic robot with a tool. It was gradually stylized until macOS 26, which kept only the robot's head and placed it in a square shape. The preview icon evolved from a realistic collage of images and a magnifying glass to a much simpler symbol with macOS Big Sur. The major change came with macOS 26, which adapted it to the new style, keeping only that magnifying glass. The Pages icon has had an interesting evolution, from the ink pen to increasingly simple pages. Starting with the Monterey version, Apple kept just the pen on an orange background. The Keynote icon started as a realistic wooden lectern, but was refined further until it was brought to a minimalist square shape. The Numbers icon debuted with detailed, colorful 3D graphics. It remained the same style until the Monterey release, which used a green background and transparent white graphics. Mac OS 26 Tahoe simply adapted it to the new liquid glass style. This was the evolution of the most important Mac OS icons. For some, the older icons had more personality. For others, the newer ones are clearer and more efficient. Which style feels the most balanced to you? Do you like the new liquid glass design? Leave a comment and tell us what you think. If you've made it this far, maybe you're also interested in the evolution of iOS icons, or maybe the evolution of Mac OS. Find the link in the description. If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you give us a like and leave a comment, it really helps us out. Thank you.